Hello and welcome to our tour of a mini suite on board Enchanted Princess. The suite we'll be looking around in this video is R427, which is an M1 category mini suite located midship starboard side on deck 14. This really is a suite that impressed us. Beautifully decorated, stylishly appointed and incredibly practical. In this video I'll go through every aspect bit by bit so you can make a concrete decision as whether you feel it's worth splashing out that extra cash on this mini suite aboard Enchanted Princess. Like all cabins on board Enchanted Princess, you don't even have to find your key. The door will open by sensing the presence of your medallion as you near closer to your cabin door. The handle will go green and you can step inside. I'll level with you early on. This is the best cabin we've stayed in out of all the cruises Jay and I have done together. We've paid £527 per person for a four night cruise, which made it only around £60 per person more than a standard balcony cabin. And we were also given the Princess Plus package, which meant we had drinks, tips and Wi-Fi as well. Add this to the level of practicality, comfort and space you're given in these mini suites, we can't help but feel we've received great value for money. Mini suites such as this one feel incredibly spacious, providing you with 314 square feet to enjoy which is the equivalent of more than 29 square metres. While the balcony is quite a bit longer than what you would get from a standard balcony cabin on Enchanted Princess, the depth is still a little smaller than what you get on other classes of ship, at just 40 square feet in surface area or around 4 square metres. As you can see, because of the lack of depth in the balcony, you don't get the luxury of having sun loungers, which many people may expect from a mini suite. If sun loungers is a must when choosing your suite, then you'll need to upgrade to grades which fall between S2 to S5 on Enchanted as they are located in the corners of the forward and aft sections, giving those balconies just a little more depth to accommodate loungers. Even though this mini suite is spacious enough, a surface area of 314 square feet is a little smaller than what's offered by competing cruise lines. But to give you an idea of how Enchanted Princess compares to other cruise ships with different premium cruise lines, an equivalent grade of suite on Queen Mary 2 has a surface area of around 390 square feet, 36 square meters, making her around 20% larger by comparison. On board the Solstice class of ship with Celebrity, an equivalent grade of suite measures slightly larger at 395 square feet, 37 square meters, which is around 21% larger than what you would get on Enchanted. However, the biggest difference is the size of the balcony, 105 square feet, 9 square meters on the Solstice class of ship, making her balconies more than double the size of what you get with Mini Suite on board Enchanted Princess. Having said all of this, size isn't everything. The mini suites on Enchanted have been designed in such a way that the suite itself feels larger than what's on paper and allows for guests to make the most of their suite experience. And with the curtain that divides the accommodation into bedroom and living area, it does feel like a suite. Mini suites come with two single beds which can be converted into a double and all mini suites also come with a double sofa bed, meaning this suite is capable of sleeping up to four passengers if needed. We've said it before and we'll say it again, the beds on Princess are incredible. We have never slept in a bed more comfortable than what you get on Enchanted. In fact, we even tried to buy one when we got home, but unfortunately discovered that they are made solely and exclusively for Princess Cruises. Such a shame. The bedroom isn't separated from the lounge area, however you do have the curtain already mentioned, to divide the suite into two areas if you wish. You get two bedside cabinets with a solid stone surface and some drawers. On top of the cabinets you have a bedside reading light and both features a handy USB port to charge your phone during the night. The cabin has two Samsung 38 inch flat screen TVs, both in the living area section and the bedroom section of this mini suite. Both are fully interactive and as interactive TV systems go on cruise ships, they are pretty good. You can do pretty much anything from the comfort of your cabin, book restaurants, order room service, check your cabin statement, order spa products, watch movies on demand free of charge and much more. Very few interactive TV systems we've used on cruise ships match what is offered by Princess Cruises. Mini suites come with tea and coffee making facilities, and as a perk of being a sweet guest, you also get a mini bar and a couple of bottles of wine. Guests in mini suites also get bathrobes and slippers, as well as free and inclusive room service 24 hours a day. In the lounge area of the mini suite, you'll also find another bedside cabinet with a shelf and some drawers, which is perfect if you're sitting on the sofa watching TV or if you've converted the sofa into a bed. You don't have a lamp on this unit, but you do have a couple of lights fixed to the bulkhead behind you, which gives the lounge area a very cosy feel. These mini suites get a massive writing desk with three deep drawers, a handful of shallow shelves at the end, a telephone, and you get tea and coffee making facilities, which are restocked twice daily. There is a generous amount of power sockets in this mini suite. In addition to the two USB ports on the bedside lamps, 
you get two European sockets, two US sockets and a shaver electric toothbrush socket. Underneath you have a cupboard which houses the mini fridge and it's great to see you get a stocked mini bar too, something which has been absent on all of the other ships we've sailed on since the pause and cruise operations. Between the writing desk and the sofa bed you have a small coffee table. Like many carnival ships, you have this open wardrobe style layout which we're pretty big fans of as it gives you a greater amount of space for clothes and it makes the cabin feel more spacious and open. As you can see there is plenty of space to hang your clothes and store your shoes and sitting alongside the open wardrobe you have a shelving unit which houses the digital safe. The digital safe is a fair size and able to accommodate wallets, passports and an iPad but probably not enough to store anything larger than a 10 inch screen laptop. Opposite the walk-in wardrobe area you have a full length mirror fixed to the bulkhead and with this other mirror between the bedroom and the wardrobe you can always give your back end a check before heading out to dinner. The bathroom is a pretty decent size and is appointed to a fairly high degree. You get a single wash basin with foam tap, a large mirror fixed to the bulkhead, a shaver plug socket, some shelving and a full size bath with shower. If I was to be a little pedantic, it is a little disappointing to see that the body wash, shampoo and hand wash you get aren't luxury products and do fall short of the offerings made from other premium cruise lines like Cunard and Holland America. Even p and give white company toiletries to their guests and they give guest shower doors in their bathrooms on their newer ships like Britannia and Iona too. This mini suite excels in many areas, but it does feel as though the bathrooms are not as well as appointed as their nearest rivals. In summary, we really like this mini suite on board Enchanted Princess. We love the decor, it was an immaculate state of condition, it was unbelievably comfortable and like all accommodation on Enchanted Princess, very practical. Although it's not the largest mini suite in the world, it feels bigger than it is and it comes with many of the amenities and benefits you could want from a suite of this grade. It's just a shame that the bog standard toiletries provided and the shower curtain don't match the premium image the company tried to sell but this is just a small observation. We still say that this ship is the best accommodation we've stayed in on a cruise ship. So, would we recommend splashing out the extra cash on a mini suite aboard Enchanted Princess? 100% yes. It's pretty much ticked all of the boxes for us personally and trust us when we say you won't get a better night's sleep. So what do you think of this mini suite aboard Enchanted Princess? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future cruise content. We'll see you next time.